Hi guys, welcome to Chutes Online. Today I'm going to talk about the most common paired landmarks on the anterior aspect of the skull. First, we'll do a review of our mid-sagittal landmarks. Superiorly, we had bregma, which marked the intersection between the coronal and sagittal sutures. Then moving down, we had the labella, which marked the most forward projecting point of the frontal bone at the level of the superciliary ridges. Then we had the nasion, which marked the most upper point of the nasofrontal suture. We had nasospinale next, which was found by drawing a line from the lower borders of the left and right nasal apertures to the centre. Then on the maxilla we had the prostheon, which marked the most forward projecting part of the maxillary alveolar arch. Then we had the alveolar, which marked the apex of the septum between the two upper central incisors. Then we had the incision, which marked the centre of the two upper central incisors and the two lower central incisors. Then we had infradentale. This marked the apex of the septum lying between the two lower central incisors. Then we had the pogonion, which marked the centre of the mandible, its most forward projecting part, and the nantheon, which marked the lower border of the mandible in the midline. So now that we've gone over these mid-sagittal points, we'll take a look at the paired points on either side of the mid-sagittal plane. The first one we're going to have a look at is called the urion. And this is a point that's determined by instrumentation, and it marks the most widest point of the skull. And it lies about here. The next point we're going to have a look at is called the zygion. Again, this is found by using instrumentation, and it marks the most lateral points of the zygomatic arch. So here and here. Moving to the nasal aperture, we have the ala. And this point, again, is determined by instrumentation and it marks the most widest point of the nasal aperture. And it's here and here. The next one we're going to have a look at is called the ectomolar. And this usually lies on top of the second maxillary molars. The last one we're going to have a look at is called the gonion, and this is found by drawing a line tangent to the ramus and the angle of the mandible, and the intersection of these two lines marks where the gonion is, and that's here and here. And that about wraps it up for the most common paired landmarks on the anterior aspect of the skull. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about forensic anatomy. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.